Hey y'all and welcome back. In this video we're going to go ahead and start off in the mixer section and in order to get there from here all we have to do is click on the mixer tab right up top. Boom. And there we go. This ladies and gentlemen is the Superior 2 mixer and it is a doozy okay. Now something to understand about the Superior 2 mixer is that it can be very intense at times, all right? Now, in some cases, it might even give you more control than what you're used to, okay? Control over things like levels and instrument behaviors relative to those levels. You see, when you adjust a channel strip, you're affecting everything in that channel strip, including any bleeds that might be happening as well. But don't worry, as long as you know your way around these parts, you're going to be fine, okay? Now, I just want to give you a quick layout of the land, so to speak. And there are a couple of things that you're going to recognize from the construction window, such as the ability to choose from other libraries or expansion packs right there at the top. You also have the combined presets menu, which this is where you would save any presets you create within the mixer. And down here at the bottom, these are all familiar sections as well. The memory and status, easy mixer, master volume, voice and layer, and instruments section are still visible. But there are some things that are exclusive to the mixer, such as the channel presets column right here across the top, the effects inserts, which allows you to put five inserts per channel strip, the bus send section, which gives you the opportunity to send out a channel to five separate buses, if that's what you want to do. And then here you're going to find the bleed control section, which controls everything bleed related. And next you'll have the stereo reverse button, which will do just that. And then we have a few buttons down here, show and hide buttons, such as microphones. Now we just have a view of our buses and our output section or we could just have our output section, or we could just have the bus section, or we could just have the microphone section. See that there? And then here's some familiar things that we've seen in the Easy Mixer, such as the fade, pan. We have phase reversal right here, solo mute, here is your fader. And then we have the output column that shows us where the channel is being output to. And then last, you'll find the microphone column that tells you what the channel strip is. But like I said, don't worry about it. We're going to cover all these things, okay? I want y'all to stick with me. This has been a quick geography lesson of the mixer window. Now, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and start talking about the channel presets. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.